Welcome everybody, welcome to Playdesk. And of course, in this lesson moving forward, I'm gonna talk about the newest release of ServiceNow, which is the San Diego version. Now, the earlier one was Rome, but of course, I'm gonna update all of these uh, lectures as we move forward. The UI may be a little bit of difference that you'll find in the existing one, but of course, as I move forward, I'll be upgrading and adding more lectures. So let's dive right in, and if you're a first time student for example for this course you need to navigate to ServiceNow or basically come up with your own or spin a new ServiceNow instance with the San Diego version which is the latest version so the first things first let's dive right in so I'm going to show you hands-on of course several things about this San Diego version so that once you move forward with the course you can easily navigate to various options all right, so once you sign on to ServiceNow platform, what you need to do is simply navigate to developer.servicenow.com and then of course log in. And once you log in, you can you know, change your profile settings on this page, which is probably the first page you'll see once you sign on, which is the single sign on page. You have various options. You can go to the developer site, now community, now learning, developer program, ServiceNow events. What you need to do is simply navigate to developer site. And once you do that, you'll find this page and it's going to bring you to this page a pop-up box that's going to say request an instance now of course the previous instance was rome quebec madrid and so on these are the older versions the latest one the latest release is the san diego version which is the first quarter of this year now of course there are many other versions because every quarter service now changes and brings comes up with a new release so of course you can upgrade and I'm going to show you all of that as we move forward but this is the latest release so what you need to do is simply request an instance if you are a first time user if you already have an instance then of course you can restore an instance but keep in mind it only gives you about 10 days so 10 days of inactivity leads to you know basically your instance is gone so you need to request a new instance all right so once you do that just navigate to or click on San Diego and then choose or click on request and what this is going to do it is going to simply give you a page and it's going to tell you the status of the instance but it says fulfilling request the release is san diego and it will also tell you of course the user role which is admin and then the instance actions and here's the important part instances with no activity for over 10 days will be claimed back into the pool okay so if you don't use it for 10 days yes you lose your instance you have to come back and request again and then uh, once this you know request is fulfilled it'll navigate to your dashboard where you can actually log in and you know start using ServiceNow portal all right perfect so our instance is now ready sometimes it takes long by the way all right once your instance is ready it gives you the URL because that's what you need to click on to log in and of course you get your username and password so username is admin and then it'll give you the password as well so go ahead and copy this in your notes and save it so that you don't have you don't lose it so every time you need to log on to your instance you can use the username and current password so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this URL and then of course log in as the admin perfect so once I log in as the admin and of course remember already gave me the admin and of course the password it will log me into the service now dashboard where I'll see all the latest features for the San Diego version of ServiceNow. Now if you're using Roam or previous versions you may find a little bit of difference in the UI but the functionality remains the same so the entire course revolves around the same functionality is just some of these options are a little bit different so you have to bear with me on this and of course since there are many many changes as we move forward and there are very rapid changes with ServiceNow we'll just move along but keep in mind the functionality is the same so this is the perfect perfect learning experience all right so I'm gonna close this initial dialog box now what they've done here of course within the UI the changes is that under all you'll notice if you click on this you'll be able to see the entire list of all the apps that are available so instead of having a sort of like um, you know uh, like a list they just provide you choose you can search you can filter all of these so if you're looking for let's say catalog right 
You just simply type on it and it gives you the service catalog. So they just made you know your life easier. Instead of scrolling up and down, you can simply you know simply type what you're looking for. So if I'm looking for service catalog, I can find by simply typing and then click on service catalog. It'll give me all of the options under this particular heading. Now once I see all of these, I can simply you know choose for example I can click on facility models and it's going to take me to that page where I'm going to be able to see all that is listed okay so for example as a demo right here is Dell model 7700 as part of the facilities model and of course I can navigate and change and make the necessary changes and so forth similarly it's just easy go back to all and simply choose what you're looking for and then it'll give you a whole list whether it's the dashboards whether it's business applications whether it's knowledge employee center and whatnot so for example if I were to click on dashboards it, it will navigate to the dashboards so they've made a little bit of changes of course with the UI but not to worry it's easier to actually uh, work with it right so even though as you progress through this you know course Bear in mind, the functionality remains the same. It's just the UI shift. So that's why I, I'm creating these updated lectures. So you are aware of what's going on. So once you're in dashboards, you can, of course, navigate to all of the existing dashboards and then click in, on any one of them to simply work on them. Or you can, of course, create your own dashboards as well. And as we move forward, I'll be demonstrating how to do that as well. For example, as a quick example, you can click on, let's see, service catalog overview, right? So if I click on this dashboard, it will navigate me to this particular uh, dashboard where I can work on all of the items, all of the apps within the um, admin or service portal and whatnot. This is the service catalog overview dashboard. And then from here, you can then, of course, move forward. Kind of makes sense, right? So they made it a little bit easier as we move forward. So let's move forward and I'm going to show you some other things for ServiceNow, the San Diego release. And then of course, I'm already logged in as the administrator. Okay, now I can click on workspaces. I can uh, take a look at the App Engine Studio once I'm logged in. I can also look into adding code, connect flows, build mobile business apps. And once again, these UI keeps changing a little bit from version to version so not to worry so for example if i were to navigate to my system administrator to give me the profile the preferences and of course impersonate user in the previous versions you may see these options as probably on the top here somewhere right so you don't see them on the bottom in a uh, dialog box or uh, in, a, in a list okay all right so make sure you logged in as the service um, admin and then you can also take a look at and click on workspaces and it will give you the assets workspace or the CMDB workspaces you can also click on the now which is the of course the, the logo here and then it'll give you the app engine studio now if we need to move forward we can create a scratch or you know apps or from templates let's click on let's go and it will navigate to the in fact the actual dev or the app portal where we're able to then begin creating different apps and working with our San Diego instance so this is really how you get started you can then of course uh, once you're in the app engine you can click on my apps you can click on templates you can you know automate workflows and, and so on so of course this is my purpose of this lecture is just to show you how you can create the instance of uh, San Diego which is the latest version and then you can work on any of these you can open up the flow designer you can open the studio IDE this is the uh, integrated development environment so for example let me quickly show you while I'm at it because the IDE is where the actual applications or the all of the options that you have so you can create an application or you can um, import from source control or select source store app to customize okay all right so for example if I need to let's say go to the ITSM workspace I can simply click on this and it will navigate me to that particular portal all right perfect so right here just wanted to show you um, the latest version of ServiceNow which is San Diego 
And then a couple other things I want to show you also, uh, which is important, are the new versions that are even upcoming, right, in uh, 2023, 2024. So right here, we notice that the current version right here is the San Diego, which is the latest version. It was released in the quarter one of this year, 2022. And then it has all of the features. I'm going to also give you a PDF in the resources so you can download and take a look at all of the uh, facilities or the features for this San Diego version. Now, the upcoming versions, by the way, like I said, service now keeps you know upgrading every quarter. Okay, so the upcoming features or the releases for service now is of course quarter one for 2023 is Utah, and then we have Tokyo coming up. We have Vancouver and Washington for the next couple of years. So keep in mind, this is a good uh, methodology or knowing that you can continue to use one release and then you can upgrade. Now, I want, lastly, I want to show you the fact sheet for the San Diego release. Of course, I'm going to give you this PDF in the resource. You can simply download it and take a look at it. But this gives you uh, several things about the San Diego version where you can take a look at and see what's new, right? Or what's part of the San Diego release. Now, if you're using the older instances, it's perfectly all right. Like I said earlier, the functionality remains the same. It's just the UI and some of the things are made easier as the new releases are provided. So for example, under customer service management, this application will have CSM configurable workspace, water management, case management, and engagement messenger. And likewise, we continue on with field service management and so on. So that's all I have. I wanted to show you how you can actually navigate to your ServiceNow uh, instance. Take a look at that and then log in to the ServiceNow platform and see what's going on. And then, of course, if you have any questions, please post in the discussion area. I'll be happy to help with this. Let's move to the next lesson.